There are approximately 2.6 million Android apps in the Google Play Store and about 2 million apps in the iOS App Store. So how do you get your app noticed? Hi, I'm Jamarco and today we're going to be talking about App Store Optimization. App Store Optimization is like SEO, but instead of ranking in Google, you're trying to rank in the App Store. The algorithms used for both Apple's App Store and Google's Play Store are widely unknown, but there are some proven strategies that we can take advantage of to improve our app's ranking. So let's jump in and take a look at some key factors affecting ASO. Number one, use a descriptive title. A good name for your app is key, including a brand name and a relevant keyword or two in your app's title. Keywords used directly in an app title can help you rank at least 10% higher. Take the time to come up with a title that is unique, descriptive, and keyword rich. Apple allows your title to be up to 250 characters long, so you can create a title and then a subtitle with your keywords. Now, Google allows for only 30 characters, so you have to make sure that you are extremely concise and to the point about what your app is about. Number two is use keywords wisely. Just like SEO, keywords are extremely important to ASO. This is how your audience will find your app, so make sure you are taking advantage of keywords. Apple gives you up to 100 characters for all your keywords, so make sure you choose them wisely. With Google Play, you don't have any specific keyword field, but your app description is actually searchable. You might also want to pick out a few main keywords and put them in both your title and description. This has been found to help further rank for certain keywords. Speaking of app strategy, it's a good idea to take a look at what the top apps in your category are and what keywords they are using to rank. From there, you can select the keywords that are most effective. But remember, don't overly optimize. Your description needs to be easily readable for a human and not just for an algorithm. Number three is describe your app well. Your app's description acts as your app's landing page. Now, once you get a potential user to your app's page, you now need to focus on selling them on the benefits of your app. If you're not sure what to write in your description, you can follow these four main questions as a framework. Ask yourself, what does your app do? What problem does it solve? How will it make the buyer's life easier? And why is it worth the price? People only spend seven seconds deciding if they're going to download an app or not. So how your page looks on the App Store is a crucial factor in their decision. Visually, you'll want to include some useful screenshots that look appealing and are relevant to what your potential customers are looking for. These should focus on the key benefits and most engaging part of your app. Number five is add an app preview video. 85% of the US internet audience watches video online and over half of the video content is consumed on mobile. You can harness the power of video by creating a video app preview for your App Store page. Just be aware that most people will watch these videos with no sound, so use text overlays to help explain what your app is about. Number six is pick the right category. Picking the right category for your app is not only helpful for users who are browsing apps by category, but it is also best practice for helping your app rank well. You wanna pick the category that best describes your mobile app. It's also a good idea to take a look at how many apps are trying to rank for each category. Choosing the least competitive category can give your app the best chance of ranking closer to the top, but make sure your app is actually relevant to that category. Number seven, focus on icon design. You only get one image to show App Store audiences why your app is worth their time for consideration, so choose wisely. Now here is a pro tip. Test four app variants before launch. Just because you like an icon, it doesn't mean your target audience will. The app icon is the first visual impression people have on your app, and it is crucial to get it right. Number eight, encouraging positive reviews. Positive ratings and reviews, both in terms of quality and quantity, have been found to be the most important factor in helping someone decide whether they should try out an app or not. You can encourage users you know through word of mouth to leave a good review on your app through the Apple App Store or the Google Play Store. Or you can just use push notifications to encourage users to review your app. Number nine, use App Store Analytics. Just like Google Analytics for web page marketing, there are a number of powerful App Store analytic tools that are designed to help your mobile marketing strategy. They will show you where your app stands in relation to your competition, and you can use this data to make updates and boost your store ranking accordingly. Number 10, reevaluate regularly. If some time has passed and you're not pleased with your app's current App Store ranking, it's time to take a look at the data and change some things around. Maybe the keywords aren't right. Is this description persuasive enough? Are you sure you listed the app in the right category? Does the icon need some fine tuning? All of these things and more can be improved to get a higher ranking. There's a direct correlation between downloads and ranking. The more downloads your app has, the more popular it's perceived to be and the higher it's ranked. 
The app store is a lot like walking into a bookstore. Many times we judge a book by its cover and we tend to gravitate toward well packaged books with a good cover or books that are in the bestseller section. We do the exact same thing with apps. So you wanna make sure that every aspect of your app store presence is appealing. By following the steps explained in this video, you stand a good chance in improving your ASO of your app and standing out among the millions of apps on both major platforms. And that is all for today on ASO. I hope you learned something. And as always, my name is Jamarco and I will see you next time.